Nationals hosting the Marlins. The Marlins are plus 145 on the money line. The Nationals are minus 175. The over-under is eight and a half runs. The Marlins getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 145, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you'd win. They lose by one, you win. And the Nationals laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 120, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two runs or more. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. It's supposed to be 77 degrees with 11 mile an hour winds and no rain. And I'm sure Commanders fans, I almost called them the Redskins, and to me, they still are the Redskins are probably going to be watching with some excitement to see if uh, the Commanders can take down the Giants tomorrow. And Marlins fans, well, let's just hope that Tua gets better. Aller did not pay, uh, did not pitch against the Nationals either last year or this year. Gore pitched once against the Marlins uh, this season. Six innings, one run, one earned. They lost 4-3. That was in Miami, and he struck out nine. Head-to-head, -head, the Nationals are 8-2. and two. The Nationals are on a two-game winning streak. The road team is on a three-game winning streak. The road team is 6-4. and four. The favorites won the last two games they've played against each other. The favorite is both 5-5 five and five on the money line and 5-5 five and five on the run line. There's only been one one-run game in their last 10 meetings. It was a game that the Marlins won as an underdog. The unders hit in their last two. The under is 6-3-1. and one, And the under 8.5 runs is 6-4. and four. The Marlins are 1-4 and four in Aller's last five starts. They lost his last three. Five and a third innings pitch, 4.2 hits, 3.2 earned runs, 4.8 strikeouts, 3.2 walks, 0.8 home runs. He's given up home runs in back-to-back -back starts. 89.6 pitches per game, 16.9 pitches per inning. For the Nationals, they're one and four in Gore's last five starts. They've lost his last two starts, so someone's pitcher is going to finally get a W. Five and a third innings pitched, 5.8 hits, 3.2 runs, 2.2 of which were earned. 5.6 strikeouts, 1.4 walks, 0.6 home runs. He gave up one in his last start. 90.8 pitches per game, 17 pitches per inning. The Marlins are 3-7 and seven in their last 10, 1-5 and five in their last 6. 4 runs, 9 runs, 5 runs, 5 runs. 1 run and a loss, 6 runs in a win, 1 run and a loss, 1 run in a loss. For the Nationals, 3-1 and one in their last 4. 6 runs, 9 runs, 5 runs, 5 runs, 5 runs in a win, 3 runs in a loss, 4 runs in a win, 4 runs in a win. Nationals with the money line, Nationals laying the runs, and Z under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.